part one of this tutorial on deploying and uh, a loopback API to Heroku. So in this part, we're going to use the links on this tutorial to create the API and deploy to Heroku. So the first step we need to do is install strong loop. I just installed it already. So we'll go to the step where we generate the application. So here I say SLC loop back and I'm in the folder for my application, which is DevOps API. So I'm going to use the default name for the application. Now in the next step after this, you're going to add a model to our uh, using the model generator. So we can say SLC loop back model. Let's call it uh, product. So it's going to ask us the model name, the data source. So for now, we can use uh, memory and then persistent model and the API and the plural form. We can give it a name, which is a string, and a description, also a string. And now our model class is generated. If we open the code uh, in our editor, it looks like So we have a server folder which contains the model config. We have a config JSON in the server folder and the client folder which contains just readme. Then we have a package JSON and uh, so let's go to this next step. So now we are going to run the application using node so let's run it okay so on our browser we can open the API Explorer and here we can see product is already generated so if we do a get so right now there's no products uh, in in there so we can put a product, so just copy the, so we're going to call this, um, let's say the first product is load balancer. Okay, and let's paste, uh, post that. And now if we say get, uh, it's, uh, showing us the load, bal load balancer. Okay, so the next step is to uh, let's try to publish this to, actually before we publish it, let's add a static page to our application. So what we'll do is Go to server middleware.json and in server boot root.js server boot root.js we can comment out the files which shows the status on by default and then we can go to middleware.json and set a static page in middleware. So go to static. Um, files section and add the static 
page and in our client client folder we can add a new file called index.html and we can just add some default uh, HTML there so let's call it uh, DevOps API okay so now we have a static page now if we run it locally we should be able to see the static page so that's the static page and if we go back to Explorer we can still see the products uh, model okay so notice that it's not persisting the data that we had uh, so let's go ahead and publish this to Heroku so if we go to the second link here we first create a proc file so in our root folder we can create a proc file and in the proc file we're going to add slc run web colon slc run in the package json we can add the engine that we need for by default and in this case it's going to be version 0.12.7 don't forget the comma okay and now we can deploy this to Heroku so to deploy it we can say first let's initialize the repository so I have a empty repository on github and so I'm going to init it and I can add the github remote to this repository and just ensure that the config contains the correct URL and now we can deploy to both github and Heroku so first commit and push to origin master now the next step is to add the Heroku uh, application so what we're going to do is create the Heroku app but we're going to name it DevOps API and we're going to specify the build pack which is the official strong loop build pack for Heroku So now it's saying that Heroku remote was added. Now we can get push to Heroku. Now this step takes some time because it's building with all the strong loop dependencies. So now that our application is deployed, we can open it in our browser. And check that it works so thanks for watching see you in the next one